Welcome back. Lindsay Athey takes advantage of Lisa's naturally beautiful eyebrow arch when applying her permanent makeup. All right, well, again, like the eyes, I'm going to do a pass on the brows, mm -hmm. and um, then I'll put a topical on you, okay? All right. It's a little bit different with the brows. I'm actually just going to be implementing hair strokes. The needle on this one is quite different. It's actually curved like a seed to make it, give it that hair-like effect. Well, for example, the needle that I'm using has 14 needles in it oh. with uh, a curve. You know, the brows are already there for me. I'm just filling them in, creating them, making them a little darker, and extending her ends. And that's kind of how it is in your case, you know, because you have so much hair in the first part mm -hmm. and then you know it disappears on the side so it actually makes your arch look like a little bit higher mm -hmm. and sometimes that can create like a mean look mm -hmm. yeah I look mean <laughs> <laughs> you really do. don't but sometimes I've noticed that on women the left side what especially when I'm tattooing the brows is more sensitive that's when People, and it's not just tattooing, it's whether I'm waxing an eyebrow, tweezing, whatnot. People just tend to either sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. That is so weird. <laughs> or, the, you know, just get an allergy effect. Or for the back of the I would have felt bad for the first person that I had to do. That was my guinea pig. Were you nervous? Oh my gosh, you look back and you're like, oh, I thought I was good, okay. <laughs> but it's just life experiences. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing it for a long time now? Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for about eight years. All right, Lisa, looks like we're finished with your brows. How do you feel? A little tender? A little bit, not too bad. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to have you, I'm going to turn off the light so it's not so bright in your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I'll give you a mirror so you can adjust for a little bit. That's amazing. And the hair strokes. Mm -hmm. And they'll fade a lot softer, but at least you'll be there. Yeah. It's going to get a little bit darker throughout the day. Okay. And then. Um, you'll just, I'll put the ointment on you now and you don't have to put any on until this evening. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. I do too. Looks wonderful. Good, I'm glad you're happy. You. You're very welcome. On Barb's long road to her smile makeover, parting is less sweet sorrow as Barb smiles a beautiful farewell to Dr. Schwartz. Well, our gum tissue looks fabulous, Barb. You look like you've really been taking good care of your gums. Okay. We're, just gonna, we're gonna just check you floss contacts, um, check your bite, check your occlusion, uh, check all the margins, the health of the gum tissue, remove any excess cement, excess bonding cement, and probably take impressions for night guard so that you can protect your teeth at night so when you're sleeping you're not grinding and you can get a good full service life out of your veneers. The end result is all, the, all your mercury is gone, all the gold is gone. The life expectancy is 10 to 20 years and it all depends on lifestyle. If you're an ultimate fighter, they might not last as long. Okay. <laughs> Just like natural teeth can break, veneers can break. So if you're doing contact sports, you don't want to wear something to, to protect them. If you grind your teeth at night, you'd want to protect your natural teeth if you were grinding your teeth at night. Same way with veneers. So I'm seeing areas of some excess cement still here that we did not re remove on the, the visit last where we seeded your veneers. Once that excess cement is removed, it's like food that was stuck between the teeth. It, the, the gum tissue will then heal around the veneers, around the smooth margins that we have left. All in all, everything looks great. Okay. Why don't you start flossing like normal now? Mm -hmm. um, just normal every day, brushing two, three times a day, floss once a day, and see your dentist regularly for cleanings, and we all should be happy campers. Smallwood and Dr. Elanon have not only given Lisa a beautiful smile, they have also corrected Lisa's bite problems. Today, they put on the finishing touches for a beautiful, natural look. Lisa? Hey! hey. 
It's been a few days. Yes. How do you feel? I feel great. Actually. Do you? Oh, yes. good, good, good. Well, we want to kind of talk to you a little bit and okay. see great. Good. what your thoughts were. Kind of get, get an idea. Now that you've had everything kind of settled down, uh -huh. what do you feel like? Well, first of all, what was your feeling once you kind of came down off of everything? Um, it was crazy at first yeah. because of my crossbite, my teeth were really confused. Yeah. I guess is the best way to put it. Okay. But I've gotten used to a lot of things now, but I did have some questions. Because of my crossbite, the teeth are still connecting, and I don't know if that's normal. On the right side. On the right side. The left side's fine. So you're, Correct. you're hitting them first. Yes. Right. When yeah. I talk, like I can't okay. shut them normally. Yeah. I have to think about it and, and put them there. Yeah. But when I'm talking and eating, my jaw still wants to. Okay, let's go through a couple of movements. I want okay. you to go ahead and bite down on those back teeth. Good. And slide your jaw to the right side. Good. Just got good guidance there. And go back to your bite again. And then come forward. Good. Back to your bite again. Okay, now I want you to count. This will be funny, but I want you to count from 60 to 70. Just normal. 60, 61, 62, 63. 64, 65. That's good. Sometimes when you're talking, you're hitting there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And eating, especially. Right. <laughs> so on the mesial slope, we just have on the lower uh, 27. We just have to keep that intact, and then as we go to the uh, the height and the distal, just contour that a little bit, and then a little bit on the lingual up uh, front. But looking at you now, now that the lip has kind of come back to normal, you <laughs> look you. like you could just have just a little bit more length. Yeah. I yeah, I like that. Yeah, better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's better now. Yeah. Okay, you're really come a long way, so you're doing a good job. So, so awesome, I can't believe it. Yeah, so it's happening. So oh, great. <laughs> well, you are, you are too. I wish I could have every patient as easy as she is. Right after the break, Barb has a Botox party. Plus, we'll see just how much commitment it takes to eat right and get in shape. So don't go away.